Millions of men, they feel crushed by Jung and therefore they say, I must say different. For instance, they take a concept of Jung and they give it another name. But it means exactly the same thing, just to be original and creative and not just a Jungian or so on. And that all shows that they haven't understood that it is a reality with which one is confronted. And that one's task is to confront oneself with the same reality with which he has confronted himself. That's the same thing. And then, if one does that oneself, and if one stays loyal to one's own uh, work on oneself, one is constantly by one's own shadow dreams, etc., reminded that one is not young, and hasn't gotten that far as he got. But the, the danger is inflation. You see it a bit, the same thing in, in St. Paul is always bordering inflation because he saw Christ and he deduces a bit that he, he wouldn't say he is Christ, but you know, he has the great word now to tell. It's a very different fate than Jung had. I mean, to, to come after him. To come after Jung is a very different fate and one has to fully realize and have the humility to also recognize this is an exceptional man. How, in my idea, he is of the size of Lao Tse or somebody like that. Very rare. That's a, a sort of man which is born every 2,000 years in history. And one cannot compare oneself with him. One has to try to learn from him what one can and know that there are enormous dimensions which we don't understand yet, which he understood. So one is really contained in him, in his work. I mean, it's in one way. Of in it. one way, one is contained in him, inevitably. But in another way, not. Because each time you realize it, something in yourself, in your own way, then it becomes yours. I, for instance, found out that when I read Jung, I can read his books 20 times, and I don't keep them in mind, so to speak, by heart. But when I do some creative work, research work, and then read his books, and it ties in in what I am doing in my own work, then it clicks, and then it stays forever. Then it's as if I had acquired it. I really got the point, but only when I've creatively worked out my own approach. By, and that is really coming back to what I said before, getting out of the animus who, who would simply quote Jung mm -hmm. and say now, quite apart from qu the animus quoting Jung, what do I feel, what do I see, what have I experienced in my life, where am I, what can I say, not because Jung says it, but because I know it myself too, for my own reasons. Mm -hmm. And only that is valid. The rest can be just forgotten again. Or oh, if people, once in the psychological club there was a big quarrel, we got all pulled into it, and Jung afterwards told us, I include myself, told us, you all behaved as if you had never heard of Jungian psychology. You see, complex is hit and the whole thing's gone. Because it hasn't yet become really yours. It couldn't go if it had become yours. Is that how you see the splits that have happened in many of the training groups? Uh, partly that, and partly it's also that most of the pupils of Jung have only gotten one facet of Jung. The, Jung had so many facets that he also talked very diff differently to the different people. He gave them what they could take or where they were open. He talked with one person about that and with another person about something quite different. For instance, I can say, he never talked to me because it never came up between us about parapsychology, or very rarely. Also very little about astrology, because I have no leaning in that direction. Now, I hear from other Jungians the most amazing things he has told them about these things. I have just missed out on that, because I wasn't there when I worked with him. So you see, everybody got a facet. Mm -hmm. 
instead of realizing that Jung had so many facets and that the one, the Jung they understand isn't the whole Jung. It's their Jung. It's, it's the facet they, they got. So the, the splits are 80% unnecessary. But the, uh, the great splits really come, as Jung once said about certain groups, they have given up Jungian psychology and they have taken to prestige psychology. <laughs>